my grandfather was a pastor the founding father of one of the popular denominations in the north and so i come from a background of people who love god but i became dissatisfied with religion i knew there was something more the prophecy upon my life and destiny would not let me rest praise the lord a time came in my life when i started having visions and encounters i had encounters of those you call god's generals the first time i took the book god's generals i wept because it was as if i was reading about my relatives something in me told me there is you are there is a relay from this man that your hand should hold is a tribe i started searching for the people around the world who had interactions with these generals because i needed it not for some self whatever it is no and finally i found a man and i said what did the general say and he said smith wigglesworth told lester sumro this anointing i released from you came from many people he said don't die with this anointing he said when you are about to die find young men you have to find people and release this grace upon them and i said my god this is it I said lord i know that there is nobody anoints himself nobody rises on his own praise the lord i have coveted graces with all my heart i'm just letting you know i was to meet with dr miles a daily revered mentor before he died i was in worry the morning he died i felt a sharp pain physically in the morning because of the depth of connection it paid me You must desire the graces that take you from where you are to where you need to be i was in a reinhard bonke crusade in 2004 a man of god by myself too but i went to that crusade not as a man of god i went with hunger to receive i apologize if i'm wasting your time but god wants to shift something in someone's life reinhard bonke finished preaching i would have said i'm a man of god also walking in signs and wonders the first day he preached by the second day i told myself i cannot just stand i have to serve this anointing and i went out of my way i saw them wheeling people on wheelchairs and i said please can i join to wheel the people they said i'm not in a committee i said what what do you, what committee do you know where i left to be here let me hold that wheelchair and while i was wheeling it i said lord this is how my meetings will be too i have served the grace i qualify to receive the anointing i was in that crowd you've heard me share the testimony humorously a pregnant woman was standing by my side and you know they don't sit down in the crusade the woman will be leaning on me i was like madam i'm not responsible for this child i came for an encounter me too you can't indefinitely lean on me like that i've done well to to agree that you lean on me for hours but i mean i'm you are, you are distracting my focus i came here with hunger reinhard bonke preached a simple message and you know those of us god has trusted with revelatory graces is difficult to receive what is all these stories here and there not not no not no depth and then he was going to drink water watch this the moment he was to drink water and minister the baptism of the holy spirit my eyes opened i was in that crusade ground and for the first time i saw the physical manifestation of the holy spirit i saw a bird that was bigger than this building moving round the wings it had silvery linings not flying soaring and i was looking i said what is this and the spirit of god took me to genesis chapter 1 verse 2 and the spirit hovered round and he told me the union of the spoken word and the movement of the spirit is what births the miraculous it was not a sermon i saw it when i returned back i had backed the stage I didn't even know when I had turned. I said, I found it. I got something in my life. This man that stands before you is a product of many anointings. Many anointings. Many anointings. Many anointings. I heard about Charles and Francis Hunter. You've heard my story. The, the evangelist, in a single meeting, they raised 100 wheelchairs. 100. I said, no, this is, I have to meet them. I desire to travel to us not to go for a sermon to scrub their toilets 
for two weeks as a man of God. Adaptation is proof of honor. Can you bend that far to receive the grace? Praise the Lord. And then the ultimate of all the revelations was when the Lord Jesus himself appeared to me. I was in a room when he came. How he came, I cannot explain. Whether he came through the roof, through the door, as soon as he came. That's when I learned in the spirit that you don't have to talk to speak. <clears throat> that the language of God is not English, it's not Greek, it's not Hebrew. The language is light. That's the language of God. Light. He was not talking, but he was speaking to me. The light that left him and entered me. How I did not die is a question I will ask him when I go to heaven. And from that experience, he left. And then one time, again, I had another encounter. And the Lord told me something. He said, son, from today, I give you my presence as a gift. And I looked and I saw a being like an angel standing. And he said, this angel will walk with you. He's called the angel of the Lord's presence. This is what happens in the meetings when you see me come. And the Lord gave me an instruction in another encounter. He said, everywhere you go to preach, there must be someone in that meeting that the light that came from me to you, that light must come upon their destiny. Listen, it says that was the true light that lighted every man 